that uh, the airline industry doesn't really be associated with its United Airlines and I hope uh, it won't be associated with the industry. Uh, I do not want to comment too much on that. Uh, we focus on what we are doing and TripAdvisor, for instance, for us was a great motivation because we can send what we did with TripAdvisor. We sent our staff, the customer facing people. I saw 250 uh, coming through the same day. I said, guys, thank you. Thanks to you. Uh, and the call center people. And the, so, so, so we are not looking at the competition, what they are doing. We are looking at our customers and to have satisfied and happy employees motivated people, having the good resource and guidance to work to make our customers happy. Uh, different. We would have done different. And better. Zagreb, 1st of June. Phnom Penh, 1st of July. Aha, secret, secret. No, no, we didn't have, uh, we, we, will, uh, we will continue to grow for sure, but we have nothing to announce now except the uh, new conference uh, coming in the next week. Yeah, but uh, we, we have also the six that we announced, uh, 380 on this, for instance, or uh, some, you know, so, so, some additional that we have. So we are constantly still growing our business. But the new ones we can only speak about, I guess. No, from the US to the US. For some, some flows are more affected, yes. Can you quantify that? Like, uh, no, we will more. We, we do not want to come with numbers at this stage. Uh, but just to clarify, you, you were saying that the flows from the US to Iran were not. Some different flows uh, have been affected. Such as US, Iran, any other flows? Different flows, but okay. why do you think subcontinent? Because I guess significant Muslim population, but not part of the travel ban. No, I think uh, you have a lot of uh, things we are monitoring. Also, the shift uh, in the booking, reservation time. So, so it's a little too early. But I think next month uh, we will be uh, when we announce our numbers to, to have more more feed to, to give to you. Yes, it would be too. Qualitative today, I do not want to go. You upgraded to Taipei last year with an A380. You were on board on the upgraded A380 to Taipei. How is this plane? Is it full? Is it, is it good line? The Taipei uh, decision is a great decision. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we are very, very happy. And I just congratulated yesterday our team because we got an additional award there has to do with the quality of the work of the team, but also the profile the 380 gave us. We are the only operator of 380 to Taipei. And uh, we increase uh, our traffic, including the point to point to Dubai, over our expectations. So it's a good story. Oh, yeah. Certain structures that are necessary to start up your kind of We are still in a process where we are uh, Working on it. So that's still on the schedule for some time. Um, we, we have we have nothing to add to what we said before. Huh? Nothing to add. No, no, nothing to add. I think since the last briefing. I'm sorry. Emirates will double the US routes to 15 by the next three to five years, but roughly there with 12 routes. So where are the next three cities going to come from? Good question. We will answer to you in a couple of months. Or Probably. Do you think you'll still expand to 15 in the next 18 months, given the climate in the United States? As I told you, we are not uh, people that can predict the future. We can people to be adapt to the future, and uh, Emirates will adapt to uh, challenges and opportunities by keeping the standards we have. And uh, so, uh, I just can't say that today. Okay, last question. You know. Uh, yeah. No, we, we, Qantas, we, we launched this cooperation now uh, four years ago and uh, it's working well. Uh, the customer is appreciating uh, the, uh, the product of the brand and the integration of uh, commercial offers including uh, the program of this airline. It's a winning proposition. Uh, we established Dubai as the hub of transit and connection between uh, uh, Australia and New Zealand and Europe where we combine uh, the Qantas strengths with uh, 
Eastern European Association, seventy European and Eastern African Association representatives in Korea, one of five uh, cities in Australia in two countries in use. Such a very good story. Where is Emirates in terms of finalizing? Oh, that's a question for certain. He's a man. <laughs>